Hi everyone. Welcome back to Knox Library. New at Knox, A Taste of the Library, um, Pentecost and the Growing Time Edition. Now today I have two picture books to share with you, um, both on the theme of connectedness and both by very well-known, beloved and talented writers for children. We'll start here. Um, Oliver Jeffers is both a writer and an artist and he's got such a gift for expressing big ideas simply. In this book, Here We Are, Notes for Living on Planet Earth, uh, he writes as if he's speaking to his infant son because in fact that is what he was doing when he wrote this book. But of course he's really talking to all of us about the things we need to know to live wisely and well on this planet with other people. Um, the book starts with a you are here kind of painting of the solar system and then it zooms in to provide um, oops, here we are, yeah, so it zooms in to provide kind of a quick tour of our planet, the land, the sea, the sky, the people who of course come in a whole variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Um, this book is, like a lot of his books, is picture perfect in so many ways but I particularly love the ending where the narrator, there he is, um, reassures the child. Now, if you need to know anything else, just ask. I won't be far away. And when I'm not around, you can always ask somebody else. You're never alone on earth. Now, obviously that's a reference to uh, our fellow human beings, our other human companions, but there's a bit of an echo there of Jesus' promise to his friends that he'll never leave them alone, that the Spirit will keep them company. Along a very similar line, we have If You Come to Earth by Sophie Blackall. Um, this is an absolutely gorgeous book. Like Oliver Jeffers, Sophie Blackall is both a writer and an illustrator. This book is also written in the form of a letter. Um, this time though, the letter is addressed to a visitor from outer space, providing instructions about what you need to know if you come to Earth. And here too, it's kind of similar, we start by situating ourselves in outer space and then we zoom in to see the planet up close. First the land and the water and then the details of where and how people live. The illustrations show um, things that make us different and things that make us the same. So we get a really good look at the diversity and the beauty of other living things and what we have in common, like music for instance. Um, one of the really delightful things about this book is its intergenerational aspect, like this page here. Babies are not very good at anything. Kids are good at lots of things. Grown-ups can do just about anything until they are really, really old, but by then the babies are grown up and can help. Older people are good at telling stories about the world when they were young. Kids are good at making up stories that haven't happened yet. So there's a potential link there to the text in Acts about both young and old seeing visions and dreaming dreams. Both have something valuable to contribute to this great family. If You Come to Earth is written and illustrated by Sophie Blackall and it's published by Chronicle Books. And both of these beautiful, beautiful picture books are available here at the library through curbside service. See you next time.